Please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 11 and 12 from Progressive Magazine of February 2022. Five seconds. Start. Mr. Chairman, Sir, a discussion has been held today on a very important subject. All the honorable members who have taken part in this discussion have given some very good suggestions. I am grateful and thank them for it. You know how much awakened the people have become today. No one had many efforts in this direction four or five years ago. First of all, it was our late Prime Minister of India who drew the attention of the people towards it. This problem is not confined to India alone, but is a matter of concern for the entire world. Today, the foreign countries also feel that a heavy price will have to be paid for the development that has been made. To fight against nature is suicidal and you all know and the foreign countries are also saying that if there had been lesser development and the environment had remained unaffected, that might have been better. The health standard of the people is declining these days. This would not have happened otherwise. It is essential that every individual in every country should enjoy good health. However, the level of environmental pollution is somewhat lesser here than in other countries. There are three major problems facing our country today. The first is that of floods, the second is of drought and the third is of pollution. You may be aware that deforestation is the main reason underlying the problems of floods and drought. If the mountains are denuded of forests here, there is no obstruction to the flow of water downwards and fast eroding soil along with it. In this manner, the rivers get flooded in our country. About 4 crore hectares of land is flooded. On an average, 1 crore hectare of land is flooded every year. In case of very heavy floods, 4 crore hectares of land may be flooded. However, on an average, 1 crore hectares of land is affected by floods every year. The main reason underlying drought is the lack of greenery. You will notice that Gujarat, Rajasthan and several other states are often hit by drought. The main reason is that these areas are denuded of forests. Trees are felled. A law has been enacted in this regard, but there are some shortcomings in it. The honorable members have rightly pointed out that stringent punishment can be awarded under this law and we must follow it vigorously. We would be considering this law soon and would make necessary amendments 
in it so that this law becomes an effective as the pollution laws i would state certain things later on we want that similar stringent law should be framed about felling of trees also along with this i think that unless people's cooperation is there and until it takes the form of a people's movement it will not yield the desired revel results i respect the opinions of the honorable members and feel that their feelings are very good and they have offered some very good good suggestions i would cite an example of the golden times to emphasize the importance recognition and respect that our ancient sages gave to the forests an honorable member from rajasthan was speaking here i will tell you a story from rajasthan which is 250 years old according to this old story the maharaja of jodhpur had once ordered the felling of trees for constructing a palace in those days lime was used for the construction of buildings but it was to be seasoned before it could be used and wood was required for that purpose when the king ordered the felling of trees the servant replied that it would be difficult to find trees because there had been continuous famine famine for the past 4 or 5 years however there are trees in the villages where the vishnoi community is living but they do not fell trees it is against their religion because trees as well as human beings both have life in them and as such there is no difference between the two as soon as you cut a tree and squeeze it a little a fluid comes out the fluid is similar to human blood therefore it is a religious belief that felling a green tree is as sinful as killing any other form of life but the king ordered the trees to be cut and said that it hardly mattered that they were vishnois the servants reached there as soon as they started cutting a tree a woman came out and asked as to why they were felling the trees the servants pleaded that they were only obeying the orders of the king the women made great efforts to stop that and said that cutting of trees was against her religion finally to cut the long story short the woman was put to death when her three daughters came forward to offer resistance they also met the same fate later thousands of people assembled there this happened in a village which is at a distance of 20 miles from jodhpur stop